So here I, in the slides, in this document, uh, my name is Mans Nagar. I'm the author of this document. I created this document and here in the in this document, I explain very well in depth how we do the setup, how we work with the outbound process, exactly in deep how we set up an outbound process, which is the first part. And uh, how we do the, how the warehouse workers in the warehouse for outbound process, they're going to pick the material, how they scan the material, how they scan the handling unit, how they scan the box, how they scan the bin, because bin, when they scan through the other devices, we have the bin number, storage bin number. Also, we have the, for an example, if they put the material into multiple material into one box, we have the box. We have the, if they put the material into the box, for an example, now the warehouse workers, they are going to pick the material from the, in my this examples, I give the example with the high rack, those types where I can open area because in my this example, I use, I use two examples, one of the, which is the milk product, milk product. That's why here I explained the FIFO LIFO rule, FIFO or first in first out or last in first out, how we do the configuration in the system, how in the real time business scenarios people they handle. So for an example, suppose uh, I have the milk business, so I get the carrots, milk big carrots with like in one carrot, I have the like uh, two liters or three liters like milk canes, like uh, 50, 50 canes for an example. So how we work with the LIFO, last in first out, okay? And how we work with the first in first out, because for an example, the food product, which comes first into my warehouse, I need to send back, not sorry, send back, send first to the customer. Because suppose A, A come today, B come, uh, B come today, it's like A come at morning time, B come then uh, night, product A, same milk product. So which come first, like A, come morning, first I will send the same tomorrow to the customer because else it will be expired. Or for an example, another example, if I take, suppose you have the business, like food business, fruit business, you have the apples. So you need to send the material which is going to expire. So you need to send back, uh, send to the customers. Else it will be spoiled and it will spoil to the other apples. Some apples, if they will spoil, they will spoil to other apples due to the uh, reactions and one more thing here I explain LIFO FIFO low rule how we do the stock transfer purchase order like for an example how we transfer the products from the plant to plant storage location to storage location intra-company stock transfer or inter-company stock transfer okay how we work with the exactly like with the RFUI how we do the customization for the RFUI for an example the warehouse workers they are going to pick the material from here they how they will perform the actions so they they go to the they in in the right in the ales they because as we know the stacks we have the zigzag location so they will go to the stack exact bin they will scan the bin after scanning the bin what they will do they will get the in, in the on the rf device on the zebra or the different company like our device screen they put the number they put the bin number they put the exact what is the location of the bin they put that number then what they will do, for an example, suppose, suppose, uh, suppose this is the, this is the, this is the, your bin, okay, this is the one bin, we have the bin like this, okay, we have the bin number like, suppose three number, okay, and this is the eels, and uh, this is the eels, for an example, this is the gallery, and this is the label, so we have the, in my example, I took the HR, HR01, like uh, 01 and 02. For an example, so HR is the, I took the alias name, alias name, like for, for understanding. Uh, then in the businesses, we have the different kind of alias names with the bins, like for HR means high rec. So the business people, uh, we, we or consultant, we define in the system. Or uh, suppose I want to put in the some bins, like for an example, B rings, then I will take BR, alias name, for identification purpose. Uh, BR7, suppose I have the 7mm, for an example, 77mm uh, B rings, so then I will put the name of the alias, BR7. So then this is the 01, ALS, stack, label, and storage also. In the real time, we can see the storage types, 
storage type what is the storage type like 0 0 2 this would be true but, but in this example i did not tell this this uh, i covered this hr was the alias name 0 one is the stack sorry ails this is the stack and label so when the warehouse workers they will reach to pick the material yeah, the milk product what they will do they will scan they will scan the bin they will scan the barcode and suppose now in the bin if they have the material in the box any like wooden box or like in the form of HU or in the form of like one example cartoon cartoon as we know like uh, like cartoon so even with the every every HU every on the every box they have the barcodes we have the they will scan the barcode also and they have the some number the barcode we have some number so on the rf screen at runtime the warehouse worker which they pick they are going to pick or if they're going to pick with the stacker they have the truck mount one screen on there what they will do they will scan this then at runtime on the rf device they will enter the number like on the in the slides i have shown uh, like how how they will put this like this like uh, hr 01 01 02 for an example then, then here they will put the this is the bin number suppose three three they will put here like this how they will do how they will perform this action then they pick after picking they bring this this milk milk packets into the particular area for an example apple they pick from the some boxes bin and also in the example i i explain how we transfer this HU to HU material from one HU to another HU one box to another box or if the material we have not in the box how we will do how we put the material inside boxes or in the HU so when they bring the material uh, or boxes when they scan they pick the stacker because through the hands the warehouse worker they cannot pick multiple suppose they need to pick the uh, 200 milk bottles so the warehouse workers they cannot pick the 200 milk bottles two liter bottles through the hand so they need to put all this into a box or into a warehouse i'm sorry uh, into a uh, like we can see cartoon or like a box or inside a handling unit then the warehouse when the warehouse workers they bring this this box to the after scanning they bring it into the particular work center work center is the nothing but so after work center is nothing but a temporary storage bin we can say storage type for temporary temporary where we put where we do the packaging deconsolidation consolidation depends upon what we are action we are going to perform labeling packing so what they will do they will use the packaging specification they will use the they will pack this material or product or food product or like apple or like milk after packing this this what they will do they will bring it to the they will bring it to the gi zone means the number is default number is gi zone number is 9020 so material will be redirected to the from the source picking to the gi zone when the material comes into the gi zone what they will do here they will again scan because when we are going to pick something for an example we are going to pick the apple or milk from here from the final afs from the final like afs sorry afs there we have the final product available for sale when they pick they scan this entire box entire bin stack they scan and when they are going to put this into the gi zone they also need to scan this they scan this and they put the number when they are going to drop the material in box into the gi zone on the rf screen they scan they scan the bin destination bin gi zone they scan the bin number they scan the box which they are going to put depends if they are only taking the material so to destination they scan the both at you from there from box from where they pick from where they are going to drop okay now it depends now another thing is when they put here the material now now we need to do the loading we do the load we do the pgi and even i explain how we do the reverse back this process entire reverse back like cancel picking entire the material if 
I want everything we have done till here, like PGI post push good issue, and like we are ready to send the good. Then even after sending the material to the customer, we can do the cancel picking, like reverse reverse engineering. We can do the then our material will be come back to this exact location to the source. There we start. So the same thing I explain here and a uh, lot of things I covered here in the real time how we uh, not started or started like this is a small uh, information video and I will uh, do this uh, post for help to all of you guys and uh, please like this video and uh, Thank you very much.